Yeah. So I said, hey, take a hike, Deech. And that just messed what up, man. was an electrical college anyway, huh? Am I right? Hey, hey, no, no, man, no. You whatever. know what's really messed up, man? Like, what's really messed up? Our own ennui. I don't know what it means. I just read it on a fortune cookie. It's like what the, and I say, uh, hey, cutie, how about we go back to my place for some uh, Discovery Channel and chill? <laughs> hey, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Wets, wets, wets. Check it out over there. Hey, Gilda! Gilda! <laughs> Gilda! Just ignore them. <laughs> hey, Gilda! Yo, I know you saw me. Oh, I think she's dissing your ex, though. She totally saw us. We're only on the other side of the street. <laughs> wetzel has got a lady problem. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Totally dissing ya. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. Hey! Hey! Don't you walk away from me, Gilda. Ugh. We don't have time for these idiots. I said don't you walk away from me, bitch. Leave me alone, Wetzel. I told you we're done. I don't have anything else to say to you. The hell you don't? What, you think you're too good for me now? You think you're some high and mighty queen or something? Cause let me tell you, you ain't the queen of nothing. <laughs> queen of the garbage cans, maybe. <laughs> queen of the trash heap. Queen of the lice? <laughs> ah, queen of the lice, that's a keeper. Piss off. What if I don't want to? What if I want to stay right here? Right here. Up in your stupid, ugly face. Step off, Wetzel. I'm not your girl anymore. The hell you ain't. You only stop being my girl when I say you- <coughs> Come on. I- Keep running and don't let go of my hand. The drop-in center is just down the street. Dude, she punched you. She totally punched you in the nuts. That's hilarious. Um, come on. Daffodil, have you seen a blue folder anywhere about? I put it down earlier, but I can't... D Daffodil, are you in here? No, for goodness. Don't worry, Daffodil. I'll answer the phone for you while you're gone. Oh, would you, Red Heart? Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. I'd be glad to do your job as well as my own. I mean, it's not like I have anything more important to do. Coming, coming. Keep your hair on. Hello? Silverdale Drop-In Center? All right, sir. I'll just make a note of that. Thursday, you say? I'm sure someone here will be available to sign you for the delivery. Yes, that's right. Thirteen blankets. What? Unlucky? <laughs> no. Just the baker's dozen. That's all. Come on, you. Oh. 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 Wow. No, not you, sir. Though finding thirteen to be an unlucky number is also a wow concept, I guess. 11 a.m. drop-off. Got it. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Gilda, we haven't seen you here in a while. Hi, Nurse Redheart. Miss me? I was rather hoping you got off the streets. <sighs> me? That's so funny I forgot to laugh. <sighs> Not funny at all, Gilda. You do have options, you no, know- No, I don't. I disagree, but... So what can I do for you today? Do you need a fresh blanket? A water bottle? That one must be pretty grimy by now. I take care of my stuff. The water bottle you gave me last time is still good. Hasn't got any holes or anything, and I cleaned it out regular like you said, so it doesn't get any of that black mold crap in the lid. Good to know. That doesn't explain why you're here tonight, though. Or are you here on behalf of someone else? Hmm? I can see you hiding back there, sweetie. What the? 
Oh, for... Quit trying to hide behind me, will you? Yeah, Nurse Redheart. I brought you a stray I found. She needs a doc to look her over. Is one of them in? Hmm. Dr. Hoofs is volunteering tonight. He's just eating a quick sandwich, but he should be able to see your friend in a minute or two. She's not my friend. Oh? Nah, she's just some kid I picked up down by the river. I think she's new. Keeps jumping at shadows and looking over her shoulder. I gave her my coat since she's sopping wet and keeps shivering. I think she came out of the river. Oh. Red Heart, have you seen where I left my watch? I took it off to wash my hands earlier, and now I can't find the blasted thing anywhere. The clock in the back room has run out of batteries again, and I... Oh. Hello. What have we here, then? Dr. Hoofs, this is Gilda. One of our, um, regulars. And this is... I... Um... She doesn't talk much, do you, girly? Uh... Uh... Good lord, are you all right, my dear? You're looking a bit rum. Actually, I don't f feel so good. Uh... Whoa! Good gravy, she's fainted. Could save their, uh, Gilda, was it? Yeah, um, can you take her? You being a doctor and all? Yes, yes, bring her through, bring her through. Oh, goodness gracious, what happened to the poor girl? Well, someone, uh... Yes? I don't know. A... X... H... E... G, O, and M. Perfect. Well, your vision doesn't seem to have been affected at least. Your reflexes are fine and your pupils are no longer dilated. All positive signs. You were very silly to stay outside so long when you were all wet. Luckily, that padded raincoat insulated you a little. That cut in your scalp worries me, however. Ugh. No, 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 no touching. It's a shallow cut, so it won't need stitches, but you need to keep it clean and covered. Ideally, the dressing needs to be changed regularly to prevent infection. I can give you some fresh dressings and gauze to take with you. Is there, uh, someone we could call to come out and get you? I... N no What about that girl who brought you in? Is she family? Come to think of it, I haven't seen her in a while. What was her name? Matilda? No, she's... We're not family. I don't... We just met tonight. She said she needed to use the bathroom a while ago. Oh, so she's your good Samaritan. I guess. Sorry, my dear, but we're rather stuck for donations. Better too big than too small, right? The more important thing is that they're dry. Um, what's... what's going to happen to me now? Well, first of all, I'm going to get you all cleaned up and shipshape as I can. I'm afraid I can't let you go unless someone is willing to look after you. You need someone to watch you. You mean you'd hold me here? Hold you is a bit of a strong term. I'd go with very much discourage you from leaving. But you won't let me go? A little something called the Hippocratic Oath means your well-being is my first priority. If necessary, you stay here and we watch you until I'm satisfied that there aren't any other nasty after-effects of that bump on your noggin. You did faint, my dear. That's generally not a good thing. Might help if you told me how you got that head wound. Or why you were soaked through. No. No, I don't think it would. How about your name? Can you tell me that at least? I... um... Sandra. You don't sound very sure of that. I am. My name is Sandra. No last name? No. Just Sandra. Well, just Sandra, this is a drop-in center doesn't have sleeping facilities. You'd need a hostel for that. When I say we'd watch you, I mean you'd have to stay wrapped in a blanket in one of those plastic chairs in the front of the building with Nurse Redheart. Trust me, that isn't especially comfortable. Those things seem to have been designed for people of any shape but human. <laughs> well, it would be a comfy arrangement, and you would need to move on in the morning. We're able to give you a few things to help you. Blankets, water bottles, a hairbrush or toothbrush if you'd like one. And we'll give you something to eat, but that's about all we can do. We're not a well-funded facility compared with others in the city. Dr. Hoofs, phone call for you. I think it's your wife. Oh dear. How does she sound? Angry. On a scale of one to ten? Eleven. Ouch. Oh, all right, I'll take it. Sandra, you stay here for a moment while I just deal with this. I'll be back as quick as I can. 
Ruslark, sweetheart, what's wrong? Yes, I did write that on the calendar. I've been scheduled to volunteer tonight for the past month. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm fine, thanks. The doctor fixed me up. I can see. I put together a care package for you. A what? A care package. It's a small bundle of items we give newcomers. Um, those who haven't been on the streets for long. It's hard out there if you aren't used to it. Oh. Sweetie, are you sure you don't have someone you want us to call? I've been working at this center for a long time. You don't have that look yet. That hard look kids get when they've lived a while on the streets. It's not a good look to acquire. It comes from sleeping rough and constantly having to watch out for people who would hurt you. So, are you sure I can't call someone for you? Whatever you're running from, trust me, it can't be as bad as life out there. Or, if it is, we can help put you in touch with authorities who can help you. Child services aren't the enemy. How old are you? Fifteen? Sixteen? I... I don't... You don't want to tell me. That's okay. But please, sweetie... Sandra, was it? Please don't make a decision you'll regret. Not if you have other options. And you do. We'll help you as much as we're able. Or we'll get you to people who can do more than us. You have options. I... I can't. You can. No. I can't. I... I just can't. I need to stay hidden. Why? Because it's safer until I f- find out who, who, who what? Someone tr- tried, tr- tried to, and I don't know who. Sandra, did someone hurt you? Uh huh. But you don't know who. Nuh. Uh. And that's why you can't go home. I. Don't know where home is. Excuse me? I don't know where I live. Or if the person who tried to... To kill me is... Someone I know. I think... I think maybe it was. And I'm... Scared. So I can't let them find me. They think I'm dead. If they find that I'm alive... They might try to, to finish what they started. And I wouldn't even know who they are until it's too late. Wait here. You wait right here. I'm not throwing money away. Rose, like sometimes things are more important than money. The drop-in center is one of those things. Well, if you came down here and saw it for yourself, maybe you'd understand better. Hold on, Rose, like. What is it, Red Heart? We need to call child services now. This isn't a normal case. We can't let Sandra go. If that even is her real name. Why wouldn't it be her real name? Uh, wait a second. Huh? Hey! Hey, you, bacon hair girl! B- bacon? Yeah, you ready to get out of here? Huh? Don't play dumb. Nurse Redhart has her panties in a wad over your whole amnesia thing. Amnesia? Quit being a parrot for a second and listen to me. If you stay in there, in a little while the authorities are going to arrive. Considering you just told Red Heart someone tried to kill you, and she's going apeshit in the other room right now, that'll mean the full works, including cops. So I'm asking you, do you want to go with the police, or do you want to get out of here? I, I... One time only deal, Bacon Air. I was all ready to just leave you here and get on with my own shit. I don't need a hanger on. I'm fine if you want to stay here and go the legit route. More power to you. Let someone else try to catch the bastard who tried to carve your skull and throw you off the bridge. But you seemed awful insistent you didn't want whoever it is finding you before you got your memory back. And I know all about not being able to go home. So I'm making the offer while you can still take it. Ergo, what's it gonna be? Do you want to go with me? Or then? Uh... Five... I don't know! Four, Please! Three, two, one... You! I'll go with you! I'm gonna get over here and get this window open. <clears throat> uh. Did you hear that? The window in the consultancy room. Uh-oh. Hurry, Hurry climb, climb out! out. 
Mm. Give me your hand, quick! Mm. Sandra, wait! Don't run away! Book it! Where... where are we going? Just shut up and keep running! 